Hey everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft Roleplay of the Week, a casual series where we all sit down to watch episode 1 of a different roleplay each week. So, last week's roleplay chosen for us to watch was Glimmer Prep. So, let's start talking about it. But first, before we do that, we gotta do a little something, you know? Something special for this special roleplay we're doing. We're watching. And that is... Dress us up as a wolf, of course. So how this series is going to work is first I'll show what you guys thought about the roleplay and give my thoughts and opinions on what you guys thought. After that, if you guys haven't already explained everything that I wanted to say, I'll give my own thoughts and opinions on the roleplay, like what I liked and disliked about it. And then, to finish it off, I'll assign the next roleplay of the week. And if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and comment your thoughts on this week's Minecraft roleplay, and leave a suggestion on which roleplay you want to try to watch next. And without further ado, Let's begin. So, we didn't get much comments for this week's roleplay, even though it's a pretty popular one because, you know, it's the first, like, announcement video and, you know, not a lot of people are going to show up. But hopefully over time, people will start to join the series and start commenting their own thoughts and opinions on it. And, you know, maybe I'll redo this series roleplay of the week later on when there's more people here to enjoy it. But yeah, let's start off with my first commenter, Wyatt Tudor. And he says that he watched the whole series, and he thought it was pretty good. He got a little bit mad that it ended, which I'll admit, I kind of got maybe a little bit mad, but not really. But he said it was really good. And let me give my thoughts and opinions on that, which is that I do agree. I did watch the whole series, and I did think it was a really good series. Um, I'm trying to think of a specific word to call it. I mean, I guess I'll give my own thoughts and opinions on that later on, but... I don't know, the ending didn't really make me mad. I mean, it was a good ending, you know? Like, shows like Gravity Falls and, um... I'm trying to think of other shows that ended. Adventure Time, yeah, Adventure Time ended recently. And, you know, it's sad when those shows start to end. But, you know, it's for the best. You don't want a show going on for too long, like, you know, Spongebob or stuff like that. Where it just goes on forever and just never has an ending. Because then it starts to grow stale and, you know, things don't start to work so I honestly think it ended at a pretty good time and yeah I actually did think this was a really good series you guys should definitely watch it if you already haven't so anyway next commenter is Turbo S and what he comments is that cool map design but almost the same t kinds of things that most high school role plays have at the moment maybe if they add a few new plotline elements then it would improve the narrative a bit and to that I would maybe a little bit agree, but not really, I mean, first of all, he probably only watched the first episode, so I can understand where he might be coming from, but I do feel like the roleplay does introduce new plot elements that kind of influences what they look like, and kind of incorporates their special skills into the thing, into the roleplay. So yeah, I honestly, Turbo S, I bet if you continue to watch the roleplay, you would you wouldn't, you wouldn't be disappointed, because I do think they add a few plot elements that kind of... Hold on, what? Hold on. I actually just realized something. Taylin does not have cat ears in the roleplay. She has antlers. She's supposed to be like a... She's supposed to be a deer, even though deer really don't have antlers if they're female, but that's, a, that's another nitpick. I'll do that later in my own section, which will be right next, because there wasn't really much commenters today. But yeah, it was a cool map design, we'll agree with that. And the whole plyomet thing, you have to realize it's still episode 1, so, you know, they can only add so much in episode 1. But, yeah, I think it was... Maybe they could have added a bit more, but I think it was still a pretty good first episode, and it does continue to add plot lines throughout the series that are pretty good, and it fits in with the animal theme, like... I don't want to spoil anything, but there's something to evolve with Zack, and he's like a wolf or something, so he becomes part of this wolf pack. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. So anyway, on to my own thoughts and opinions. I honestly thought this was a really good first episode, you know? It kind of did a lot, and what I think was the best aspect of this episode was the environment and the atmosphere of it. Because it did a lot of establishing shots showing all the areas of the roleplay, like it showed their house, it showed the town, and it showed the school, obviously. And it showed all these little places that would be incorporated later on to the roleplay and some places that weren't. And another thing I really enjoyed about it was like these little like these little moments that kind of show the personalities of the characters and who they are. 
like with um, Zach. He was like an athlete, and in the school there was like this, there was like this poster for a football team. Even though that doesn't end, that ends up being not what he joins in the end, but it does kind of show that Zach was kind of into sports, you know. And it's like mo- little moments like that that really allowed me to enjoy it. Like I really did appreciate those like little moments. And like I said, the atmospheric shots were usually really good, and they're really good panned, and cinematography, the cinematography was pretty good, but gotta thank Slade Blade for that, he's one of a, he's a pretty good Minecraft cinematographer. I definitely would recommend you check him out if you already haven't. And yeah, so as for some nitpicks about it, obviously I've already mentioned that Talon is a deer, and in the, in the roleplay she kind of, oh wait, that's not even for this first episode. Hold on, never mind, guys. Never mind. I can't even talk about that. That's spoilers. But, yeah, she does become a deer, and she does get antlers for some reason, which don't really make sense, but I guess it kind of shows that she's a deer, even though moose also have antlers, so... I don't know. It's it's a bit weird, but, yeah. I thought it did really good at defining the characters based on the little moments they have, and stuff like that. The dialogue, obviously, was pretty well on point for what the characters would say, like... Will is supposed to be the smart dude. Zach is the athlete. Um, Finn is supposed to be like a little prankster guy. And Taylin, um, shoot, uh, crap. I I I I I mean I have stuff to say. All right, and Taylin is. Why can't I think if you think about Taylin? I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Taylin. I'm sure I'll think of something eventually. <laughs> Alright. But anyway, yeah. And my only nitpick about this episode was... I was a bit confused why they put a first-person side mode. Why they used a first-person mode in this. Like, in this... There was, like, this one moment in, like, the courthouse. Or the court... No, not, not the courtroom. It was, like, the courtyard. Yeah, the courtyard. Where they're in front of the school and they're in first-person mode for some reason, which... Really didn't make sense because they are already like talking from a script like it sounded like. Like they were all taking turns. It wasn't like they were improving that stuff. At least I don't think they were because it did sound like they're re- it didn't sound very improved. So I was kind of confused why they only used first person mode for that shot because they obviously could have used more cinematic shots for that. And yeah, that was kind of confusing, but yeah, you know, was you that was like only one of the nitpicks I had about this. Overall, I think this is really good. If I had to grade it out of 10, I'd probably grade it like maybe a 9.5 or 9. And yeah. So anyway, guys, that was the first roleplay of the week. I hope you did enjoy this. Um, like I said, it was kind of casual. We didn't really go in too into detail about anything because, you know, it's supposed to be casual. We don't want this to be like super analytical or um, super review type. But... I did think that we went over some of the basic points of what made this role play pretty good. And as for next week's role play, I think we're going to be watching the Elytra's as F here. A role play that's also being cinematographized. <laughs> cinematographized? Is that even the word? Like, it's The cinematography is done by Slaveway as well. It's on the Famous Films channel if you want to go watch it. I'm also putting a link in the description and on the cards. So if you want to check it out, look in the cards or the description. Leave a comment on what you thought about it, you know. Show me your support and leave a comment, leave a like, whatever. And yeah, I hope you guys do participate. And I hope you did enjoy this. And without further ado, let the next challenge begin. <laughs>